So after a couple of weeks of work, this is what we've ended up with. One full size 737 cockpit MIP. The construction's nearly there now. The majority of the parts have been created. There's a lot of finessing to do. I've turned the MIP around. Now you can see all the guts inside the MIP and all these wires that we've got to connect. Here's some of the old Arduino boards that are still going. They're still attached, should I say. But I'll hopefully reuse all them, rewire it all up. My plan now is to take the top of the glare shield off and house all the Arduinos in there. It just seems a very sensible place to put them. Nice and easy to access, nice and easy to repair. Is to use this packing piece of wood from the old glare shield. A bit of plastic on top. And then I'll be able to stack all the Arduinos facing in. I can have the 10 port USB hub inside and then I can feed all the wiring as well straight through the, the top into the back and connect it all up. So in the end I should just have one USB wire coming out and one power wire coming out. I'm using 8mm brass standoffs so the Arduino boards sit correctly. Here you can see four Arduino Mega boards, but I think I'll probably need around six. I'm now installing the Amazon Basics 10 port hub. In go all the USB cables. I'm making these quick connect boards for the master caution panels so I've got a way to disconnect them and remove them if anything goes wrong. These will then connect direct to the Arduino interface shields. That's the plan anyway. Time for a bit of soldering. Well, it's been quite a good day today. As you can see, all the glare shield electronics are fitted. It's now time to fit the glare shield top back on here in the center. All the Arduinos are connected. All I've got, as I said before, is one USB cable, one power cable. We'll turn the unit round, plug it into the computer to my right here and see if we can't get it all working. Let's do it. So I've got my pinouts. All I need now are the free offsets available in ProSim, which I should go away and get now. This rather large file here was my last Sims offset. 
several thousands of them I think and I'm just going to reuse them again if, if you can see that I'll just reuse them again until I can get a new print out done because they're ready to go and they're handy let's do this let's see if we can get some lights flashing so I've plugged the Mobi flight modules in and it's just currently upgrading the firmware as they've not been used for several months so far so from this menu onwards now I can select each of the pins and look at the MIP and see what lights up so if I spin you round there we go hopefully you can see me and the MIP and all I'm going to do is I'm going to stop that change the pin number to 37 and see what it lights up and as you can see the fire warning lights up just going to write them down stop it then go to 38 and oh no now that is a monumental error I have absolutely no idea how that's happened but if you can't see my fuel caption is in red which is completely wrong because it should be yellow now that is a 